All right, this is the first day of our unit, uh, our new unit, and what we're doing is 5.2 quotients of polynomials. Again, quotients refers to division of polynomials. So here I've, I'm going to go through my examples. I'm going to refer to my first page, which talks about vertical, vertical and horizontal asymptotes. And this is kind of where we get into a glimpse of what you're going to see in calculus or aspects that you're going to see in calculus when it comes to curve sketching. All right, so what we're looking at is three different types of asymptotes. And again, asymptote is an invisible line that the, growth, the graph uh, approaches but never meets, never sees it. And there's both vertical asymptotes and there's horizontal asymptotes. And so that's what we're looking for just to f figure out what we do have when we have quotients of polynomials. And so for example one, again I'm always going to look at the vertical asymptotes first, horizontal next, and then the odd case when we have oblique asymptotes. And again, I'm referring to my homework sheet or my note sheet here. And so vertical asymptotes, what you're looking for is when is the denominator equal to zero? And here I have an x minus four. And so if x is four, well, yeah, we, our denominator is equal to zero, but then you have to also check the top to see if that x value makes the numerator also equal to zero. Because if it does, you don't have an asymptote and what you do have is a hole in your graph, all right? So in this case, because x equals four in the numer or in the denominator, and the numerator is not equal to zero uh, when x is equal to four, that means we have a vertical asymptote, and we do at x equals four. All right. Now, in terms of our horizontal asymptote, we are looking at the degree of the polynomials that we have, and on the, in the numerator, I have a degree one, and in the, or sorry, in the denominator, I have a degree one, and in the numerator, I also have a degree one, and they're equal. And so in that case, we look at the leading coefficient of those highest uh, powers, and I have a negative three, and in front of this x, I have a coefficient of one. And so there is a HA, a horizontal asymptote, at y equals negative three. Now, example two, again, looking at the bottom first, looking at our VAs. Oh, sorry, I should go back to example one. Uh, is there an oblique asymptote, which is rare, when the degree of the numerator is exactly one higher than the uh, denominator? That's not happening here because, again, I said they were equal. All right, so example two, again, looking at vertical asymptotes. Uh, what value of x would make the denominator equal to zero? Well, is there one? Yeah, there is. Uh, if I cube negative two, uh, that would make the denominator equal. Uh, the numerator would not be zero, so it means we do have a vertical asymptote. And so we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative two. All right, uh, our horizontal asymptote. Again, I look at the degrees of the, both the numerator, which is one, the denominator, which is three, because the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator, we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. All right, uh, on to our next one, example three, uh, where we look again are looking at our vertical asymptote. When does the denominator equal to zero? Well, when x is two, but uh, what happens to the numerator? Well, four times two is eight, plus three is 11. It's not zero, so again, we have a vertical asymptote at x equals two. A uh, horizontal asymptote, let's check it out. Uh, the degree of our numerator is one, and so is the degree of our denominator. And so again, I'm going to take the coefficients and divide them, four divided by one, and that means that, uh, so we have a vertical or a horizontal asymptote at y equals four. All right, and again, no oblique asymptote because the degree of the numerator is not exactly one higher than the denominator. But here we go to example four. All right, so we have x squared divided by x plus two. Uh, again, looking at the vertical asymptote, uh, a negative two would work. Uh, what happens to the top? Well, negative two squared is four, so it's not zero, so there's nothing going on there, other than the fact that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative two. Uh, horizontal asymptote. Uh, because the polynomial, the numerator, uh, is the degree of it is higher than the denominator, there is none, right? It either 
the denominator has to be bigger or equal for the, there to be a horizontal asymptote. But now, here's, a, here's something. We go to our third asymptote, which we haven't had to deal with yet. The oblique. And there is one, uh, it is one degree higher. So to find that oblique asymptote, we divide our polynomial. So I'm going to take x squared, and I'm going to divide it by x plus 2. In which case, uh, let's see here. Uh, what would I have to multiply x by to get x squared? x. Uh, and then we, again, doing our polynomial division. So x times x is x squared. Uh, x times 2 is a 2x. All right, so I keep going here. That's a plus a 0x. Uh, what would I have to do to get from x uh, to 0x? Oh, sorry, I got to subtract them. x squared minus x squared is 0. There's to gone. 0 minus 2x is minus 2x. All right, so we keep going. How would I get from x to negative 2x? Well, I divide by a, or I multiply by a negative 2. And let's see here, we go negative 2, and here's the best part for oblique asymptotes. I don't have to continue on and figure out the numerator. Here is the equation of my oblique asymptote. It's right on the top there. It's y equals, again, because an oblique asymptote is a line, it's y equals x minus 2. All right, and you'll see that a lot more in calculus. Uh, next up, example 5. We'll change colors there because we're doing a little bit of division. All right, and again, vertical asymptotes. Uh, let's see. Well, the denominator is 5. x equals 5 makes the denominator equal 0. Check it in the numerator. 5 squared is 25 minus 25. That is also 0. So now we have the numerator and the denominator equal to 0. All right, which means there is no VAs, but there is a hole at x equals 5. So that's a case where you're going to have some kind of a graph and there's an open circle there. Alright, uh, horizontal asymptotes. Again, let's see here. We have uh, horizontal asymptotes. Note the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator and so there is none. Now we get to oblique asymptotes. Now this is a little weird is that we have uh, our degree of our numerator is exactly one higher than our denominator. So again, I'm going to do some division. And this is a weird case here. So I have uh, x squared. I like to have a placeholder. Plus 0x, uh, whoops, minus 25, divided by x minus 5. All right, again, how do I get from x to x squared? Multiply by an x. So then we go x squared uh, minus 5x. And then down below, again, subtraction, so I'm going to have a 5x here. Well, how do I get to from x to uh, 5x? Uh, I'm going to have to multiply by a 5. All right, and we end up with our OA. This is a weird case. It is y equals x plus 5. So there's a line that our graph is actually going to hug. But there's going to be a hole there at x equals 5. All right, uh, last one. Well, I'm not going to have room here, so I'm going to, I might have to post a separate video uh, for example number 6. Ah, let's see here. Never mind. I'm going to wash out everything here. Alright, so again, same process, looking at our, ooh, our denominator. So I'm going to write this back up here, example 6, we got y equals x plus 1, 2x squared plus 1x minus 1. Now, I'm looking at when the denominator is equal to 0 for my VAs. Eee, I have no idea what values. So here's what I am going to do. I'm going to do some quadratic factoring. All right, and I use the chart method. Every teacher's a little bit different on this one. All right, so I got a 2x squared here, a negative 1 here. Uh, I'm looking for two things to multiply to give me 2x squared. Uh, so a 2x and an x. Two numbers that multiply to give me negative 1. 1 and negative 1. Uh, again, I do the cross multiplying 2x times 1. 
is 2x minus a 1x, it does give me a positive x. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. So I have x plus 1 all over factored 2x minus 1 and an x plus 1. All right. So now I get a better chance of investigating what is going on with this function. So my VA, first off, I get two pieces. So uh, what x value here would give me zero? Uh, one half would make this denominator equal zero. I plug it into the numerator, does not make the numerator zero. So I have a VA at x equals one half. I go over to the second part, x equals negative one would work. But look it up top, negative one also. So when the numerator and the denominator for the same x value are going to equal zero, it means I have a whole at x equals negative one. A whole lot going on with this graph. All right, uh, HA, our horizontal asymptotes. Again, the degree of the polynomial in the, in the denominator is higher than the numerator, so that means we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero. And because of the degree of the denominator being higher than the numerator, that means in terms of our oblique asymptotes, which are lot slanted lines, we don't have any. Because that only happens when the degree is one higher in the numerator than the denominator. And that is how we use our general rules to find out the three different types of asymptotes. Usually you, vertical and horizontal asymptotes are, you know, and then in the rare case, we have oblique asymptotes.